my friends asked me if I was taking a vacation. I said, no, this is, this is a work trip. Uh, so we'll be working on the boat, we'll be living on the boat, eating on the boat. Uh, it's going to be an experience. School may be out for summer, but class is in session for 16 teachers who will spend a week on the waters of Lake Ontario, helping collect water and sediment samples, doing experiments, and learning about the overall health of the lake. Many people who live in the city, they may not think of how their day-to-day -day activities might impact the lake and, and the open lake and the, the, the deep lake where the fisheries are. And there, there are those connections and how we deal with, with wastewater. The educators will climb aboard the Lake Guardian, an EPA ship that serves as a kind of guardian angel, spending each summer monitoring each of the Great Lakes. This week of work coincides with an entire month the crew of the Guardian has dedicated to studying and reporting on the conditions of Lake Ontario. We're actually using the same equipment, the same uh, procedures as any scientist would who would work on the EPA's vessel and the uh, data that they collect is actually part of the uh, data that the EPA uses to study Lake Ontario. Nine of the 16 teachers are from here in western New York and they hope the experiences on the decks of the Guardian can be shared with their students this fall. We can teach students about penguin populations in Antarctica, but to teach students and show students about what's happening in their community, to do waterfront cleanups, to do water quality sampling at the local, uh, local lake or river shore uh, is invaluable because students get the first-hand knowledge to see how their own actions and how the actions of, of all humans in our industries uh, can lead to those negative effects for the, the ecosystem. In Buffalo, Mike Arena, Spectrum News.